as we know, we have the new island on the horizon. And with this new island having a new teaser today, I want to delve into what other monsters I think are going to be coming onto the island. So following on from last time, we of course have our brand new teaser. And inside of this one, it's nighttime yet again. And we see Air Island's critter roaming around and a glimpse inside of Air Island's castle. But this time we see Yorstridge on the hammock. And to the right now, we have confirmation now that the portraits represent the likes of each mythical. So for Gajub, we had Bogor, and then for Yorstridge, we have Scopes, which is represented in game. And then, yet again, we see inside of Yorstridge's dream, a brand new look at this new island. And here is perhaps our biggest reveal of all as of yet, as this mural represented at the very bottom is a mural that we have seen before. If we take a look at the loading screen to the very bottom right here, you can indeed see this mural being represented in its full form. With this in mind now, it is absolutely confirmed that this new island is going to be related to the mythicals. They've laid it all out in front of us. They've even got the anniversary month monument having this symbol directly on it, making it very obvious that this is mythical island. And this is just full on proof right here that our theories last time were pointing in the right direction. However, last time we did go over how the eight other monsters that are going to be featured on this island and besides the seven mythicals that we already know about, all quite likely to be something that we don't know about as of yet. So what are the other eight monsters? If we take a look above from the mural inside of the new teaser that we've got, we can see different constellations up above in the sky. This constellation marks out a different kind of constellation that we've not seen inside of the franchise before with the constellations found inside of the star chart in Dawn of Fire. However, this one marks out a different kind of constellation. And if we go on over to the loading screen we in fact have one in the left and also one on the right as well all of these constellations that are on screen right now don't reveal anything brand new or any symbols that we currently know about however i do think that these symbols represent something a little more than what you might think if we go on back to the celestial star chart that we've just been on about the celestial eggs originated from the constellations before the celestials came to life as the celestials are the only monsters inside of the monster world that weren't created by the Colossals, or in the Wubblins' case, Wubox. So from Celestials originating from the Constellations, it's likely that these other eight monsters that we don't know about yet could originate from the Constellations and not be born from the Colossals. Just like how the Celestials were, and with this being the 10th anniversary as well, I'm expecting this island to be very lore-heavy. So I do think it's very possible that these Constellations do link to the eight other monsters we don't know about. Based on as knowledge now, I do think we need to go into who exactly might have come from these constellations in the first place. This first option and the option which would get me really hyped. Not that any other one wouldn't either though to be honest is a new law heavy class. I imagine that this could join the ranks of the Celestials and Colossals. Both very law heavy classes inside of the game which would be absolutely tremendous to explore. As seen as though there's lots inside of the origins behind the monster world that we don't quite know about. This could fill out some patches inside of there and bring up a whole new fresh take on the game, which would be absolutely marvellous. And getting a new class at all on the 10th anniversary would be a really momentous occasion. However, our second option is the Colossal Spirits. These were formed right before the Celestials. And initially, I was very hesitant to bring these up as I do feel like the Colossals in their own right are so much more important than these constellations and so much more special than the Celestials. So it kind of feels like it would be doing them an injustice to make them from the constellations rather than from somewhere else else if you get what I mean so therefore I think it's very unlikely seeing as though they are so special for them to be here however with the Colossals being also monsters that resonate with sleep as we went over last time and that teaser directly referencing that a hypnotic hum resonates it evokes you night after night but only in dreams it almost seems like this is exclusive to the dreamscape shall we call it and as though this is something exclusive to it and isn't a part of the monster world direct so with that and the Colossals sleeping in the first place, it almost seemed like to me that was hinting towards the Colossals. I mentioned earlier as well how the Colossals were born before the Celestials. And seen as though the Celestials came from the constellations out of all of the classes that we know and everything inside of my singing monsters, out of anyone to come from a constellation, law-wise, it would most likely be the Colossals. But our third option and our most likely one, yet again, is tying back 
back to their mythicals. Going back to that mural, it could be absolutely the mythicals that came from the constellations in the first place. The mythicals origins has not been explored inside of the game at all, and this could bring out a new light on the mythicals and make them a lot more interesting potentially. And if this even isn't related to the mythicals, perhaps this could be tied to the mythicals law in some way anyway, as the mythicals have no law. So if they miss out on introducing some mythical law on this new island, I have no idea when it'd come because this seems like the prime opportunity for them to integrate. Going back to this comment that I've just made, I think it's also only right for us to go on back to the comments as someone left one that I thought was very intriguing last time. Now, I was initially thinking this inside of my head before making my theory video last time. However, I didn't like the concept. So I hesitated and didn't put it in. But J Plus has brought it up here and I just want to talk about it. They've put, I think that the mythicals are related to the colossals in some way, either the colossals themselves or just some kind of messenger. If the mythicals are physical forms of the colossals, it would also explain why they don't appear on the magical islands. Because those islands are just titans, further proof there are 15 colossals. Now to this, I just have to say it would be pretty lame to me if the mythicals are the manifestations of colossals. Colossals are so grandiose and the mythicals to me just don't encapsulate that to the full extent that I believe the monster handlers could do with the colossals. And I think it's a very big concept, the colossals, and I just really want them to put everything into making these grandiose colossal spirits and the mythicals just wouldn't quite hit that mark for me as I imagine the colossal spirits being very grandiose, big beings with these huge animations and everything being put towards them. So therefore I'm very against that, but maybe the mythicals could be tied in some way towards the colossals directly. I think that is a very likely situation, but I'm just really not hoping towards the manifestation idea as I think that would be a huge missed opportunity out for the game. Either way though, I do think we are in start for a very law heavy island this time around. And with this law heavy island, I think it's about time for him to throw in a new mechanic as well for this brand new island too. We've had Amber Island pop on along recently and inside of Amber Island, we've had that crucible. And let me tell you, that crucible is a wonderful structure. It's a wonderful new mechanic that they've implemented into the game. And therefore it makes me so intrigued into what they could do with another mechanic. And with the constellations here, it really gets my mind rolling towards what this could be like. They could tie back to the star charts from inside of Dawn of Fire, take a whole new spin on this concept and elaborate on it even further. I think that would be a really interesting thing for them to do. Dawn of Fire took leaps beyond my Singing Monsters mechanics and really went out there with its mechanics. And I think they are a little more hesitant with my Singing Monsters so they can stick to that core kind of gameplay, especially seen as the when they do do things like Amber Island, it can sometimes be a little roughly received. But I do think all in all, the mechanics that they've implemented with Amber Island are so elaborately done and looking back now, it's just phenomenal how it was integrated. So I'm really looking forward to some new mechanics and being a bit more open this time towards them. So I'm really hoping that they do bring along something new. Obviously though, I think the most likeliest thing that we will see with this new island is absolutely teleportation for the mythicals. I think this is not going to be a standard island in the form that you're going to teleport them over there and you're going to breed monsters. That could be the case if it's going to be a mythical maven, as we might dub it, as our level 100 moniker says. <laughs> that would indeed be a cool callback, wouldn't it? To this new island name and would be a lovely new island name actually. I guess we'll call it Mythical Maven from now on, but I think seeing as though the Crucible was so cool, they really do need to go back to that and make it just really cool, this island. Make it not have a breedable state. And if the other eight monsters aren't mythicals, please do something other than breeding. That would make it really cool. As for right now though, I have on screen now an island shot of this new island that I've put together. I've attempted to put it together anyway. I've just put a load of gray spots for what I don't know. But the huge mural goes right at the center of the island. That's pretty obvious. And then going by Wobbling Island's different statues towards the side, I would definitely place those towards the sides of the islands too. And judging by the scenery that we have so far, it seems a very grandiose island. Definitely getting that vibe again. Constellations everywhere, huge monuments, very dark themed. It seems to definitely be fitting that dreamscape mindset, doesn't it? The mythical maven, if that's what we're going down again. I would expect that we might see the colossal or titan eye next time for this brand new island. With this being in a dreamscape area though, and a part of the mythical's dreams and monsters' dreams, it seems like we might not be tying back to a colossal or titan. So I'm going to be interested to see whether we do or not inside of next week's teaser, if that is what they're going to show. I think that's the most likeliest thing that they 
on next week anyway. But we'll definitely have to see as things go along. Now, as things are escalating, I do think we are getting closer and closer towards seeing what this island is like. I think definitely this is something to do with the Colossals from the teaser that we have now. And I think we're just going to keep getting even more info as each one comes out. So I'm really excited for the next one. And before I go, I've got to say, please, with this island, with Mythical Maven, make this island have nice paths. I don't like the paths since Magical Sanctum. Magical Sanctum and Bren's Shanty have been very low heavy paths, but they have not seemingly fitted the island to me. And that's why I don't have any on my island. So maybe it's just me and maybe I need to experiment a bit more, but I just really want some new paths that actually fit the style of the island. So hopefully we do get that this time. If you're listening, Monster Handlers, that is one of the top things that would do this island for me. <laughs> Put some nice paths on there, please. Anyway though, guys, let me know what you think about this island and what you think this island is going to be called, seeing as though it's going to be tied to the mythicals now too in the comments. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed too, guys, and to subscribe. I'll see you guys later for now. Bye, guys.